Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about speed control of PMSM drive by using field oriented control. So this is a block diagram for field oriented control of PMSM. So PMSM nothing but the permanent magnet synchronous motor. So here you can see that here we are going to measure the speed of the uh, that means here we are going to measure the angle right rotor angle and then the rotor angle going to be can that means here the we are measuring the rotor angle in the mechanical form right so that the rotor angle going to be converted into electrical form so by means of this conversion p by 2 right so number of poles per poles divided by 2 and then here we are measuring that based upon the rotor angle we are measuring the speed or, or else we can measure the speed directly then we need to compare with the reference speed so this is known as reference speed and then this the speed error will be processed by a speed controller so in normally we are using only PA controller so you can use PA controller so that PA controller will be generated the reference current. Okay. So this current uh, in field oriented control. So this is known as uh, IQ. So that that means that is nothing but IQ stuff. So quadrature axis current. Okay. And then uh, uh, ID will be equal to zero in this case in field oriented control. So based upon this IQ star and ID star. So we need to generate reference current. Okay. So here uh, that way reference current regulator. In reference current regulator, just uh, we need to generate uh, three phase current IA star, IB star, IC star. Okay. Uh, so this can be generated by means of uh, DQ to ABC conversion. Okay. So based upon this value IQ star and ID. Just you have to use transformation PQ to ABC conversion. So by using this conversion, we are going to generate that IA star, IB star, and IP star. Okay. So this is going to be considered as the reference current. Okay. So this reference current will be compared with the PMSM stator current. Okay. Just you have to measure the stator current, and it will be compared with the I A star, I B star, and I C star, and then is going to be processed via hysteresis current controller. Okay, hysteresis band current controller. So this hysteresis band current controller will generate the pulse for this three phase voltage source inverter. Okay, so based upon this pulse, the speed of the PMSM will be controlled, and then I Q star and I D will be controlled in the PMS. So this is normal working of the field oriented control of PS, PMSM uh, for speed control, speed control of PMSM. Okay. So let us start with the implementation of the same concept in the MATLAB. So for that I am going to show you the implementation. So this is a model created for that uh, field oriented control of PMSM okay, for speed control. So here you can see that uh, this is a DC source and here we are using universal bridge and then it is directly going to be connected with the PMS motor and here we are measuring that the PS, PMS parameter like stator current IA, IB, IC and then here we are measuring the speed of the PMS and here we are measuring the electromagnetic torque of the PMS and then here we are measuring that the rotor angle in the mechanical rotor angle in radian. Okay. So first I'm going to take that mean I'm going to compare this actual speed with the uh, reference speed. Okay. So here I'm using step signal for providing the reference speed command. Okay. So and then is going to be compared and then error speed going to be processed by a PA controller. So the output of this PA controller is going to be taken as IQ reference. And if you see the ID a reference is equal to zero, 
So here I'm going to take constant block for making ID reference equal to zero. So next I'm going to combine that ID reference IQ reference by, by means of max block. And then I'm going to convert this IQ, ID reference IQ reference that means by uh, convert them to ABC form. So by means of this DQ not to ABC conversion. Okay. So here you need to provide another input nothing but omega t for conversion of DQ not to ABC. So for that this omega t can be taken derived from that uh, the rotor angle of the PMS. Okay. So here we are getting the reference current. Okay. IA, IB, IC. So IAB reference current will be compared with the actual IABC. Okay. So this reference will be compared with the actual IABC and then here we are getting error current. Okay. So that error current will be processed via hysteresis controller. And then this is hysteresis controller will be generate the pulse. Okay. So here we are using a three phase voltage source inverter. So we need six pulse, so that's why we are taking the complement of this per pulse and then is converted into six pulse for that uh, voltage source inverter. Okay. So this pulse will be given to that uh, IGBD drive voltage source inverter. Okay. So this is going to be control the speed of the PMS. Huh? So if now I am going to uh, show you the reference current, so the reference speed. So initially I am going to fix the reference speed is equal to 100 radian per second and then finally that it going to be changed to 125 radian per second after time of 0 0.05, 0 0.05 seconds okay and also here I am using that load uh, initially 6 newton meter and finally the load will be equal to 3 newton meter okay so next we have to see the response and also and in this side you can see that we have a different scope right that this scope is for measuring the getting pulse and this scope is to for measuring the uh, voltage from that uh, that means voltage across that uh, pmsm okay and then current stator current so this will be used to for measuring that uh, actual speed and roughing speed and this is used to for measuring the electromagnetic torque of the pms okay now i'm going to open all scope and then place in the division after that I am going to send the model so now I am going to simulate this model now we can see that the speed initially may have fixed at the reference with reference speed comma is fixed at 100 radian per second so this actual speed command so it will be reach up nearly 0 0.02 seconds okay so it maintained around 100 radian per second so we track the uh, reference with, uh, speed command after 0 0.02 seconds so in the time of 0 0.05 seconds the speed command change from 100 to 125 so because of that uh, the axial speed of the pms also can be changed from this point to this point and then reach here around 0 0.06 seconds okay and also it uh, uh, track that uh, PMS of speed with the reference speed command. Okay. Uh, during initial starting period, right here, during this period from 0 to 0 0.2 second, so this is a voltage of the output voltage of the inverter. So during that uh, tracking of uh, speed command, after reaching that uh, reference speed command, so this is a voltage across that. Uh, uh, PMSM or output voltage of the PM uh, inverter and then during uh, starting it have high starting current after it reach uh, reference speed command so it have some steady state current and uh, this point after 0 0.05 seconds right uh, the speed command change from 100 to 125 radian per second so because of that uh, the, the voltage of the inverter will be changed and also you can see that some increase in current during the uh, speed command variation in the PMSM after reaching the speed uh, to the uh, reference, uh, reference speed command then uh, it has to distribute current okay and then you can see here uh, this is a response of electromagnetic torque 
uh, during starting it have a high starting current after that it have steady state uh, sorry high starting torque and then after reaching the uh, reference speed command uh, it has steady state uh, electromagnetic torque and also during change in speed command should have uh, some disturbance in the electromagnetic torque response after reaching that reference speed command right so it has steady state uh, electromagnetic torque okay so this is a variation of uh, pulse from that uh, switching lodging circuit for the whole dissociation inverter so this is working of uh, field oriented control of pmsm for speed control so thanks thanks for watching our videos so kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming video thank you thank you so much